back to my channel. Today is the 1st of April. This is the second week now that I've been working from home in like self-isolation since the government brought in the stricter guidelines. Um, and to be completely honest, the first week that I was working from home, I, I did go out for runs. Um, so I did do exercise about three or four times last week, um, but my diet was not good. So I found that when I was sat around the house, I was snacking, eating my parents out of all their biscuits, and yeah, just my diet was a bit out of control. Just from boredom, not used to being sat at home, and out of my usual routine like everybody is, and just trying to find a new normal, basically. So, I thought I cannot carry on like I was last week. Um, I was definitely, what's the saying? You can't out train a bad diet. That was me last week. There was no way any amount of running I was gonna do was gonna cancel out what I was eating. So this week I am turning it around. We don't know how long this is gonna go on for. Um, so I'm getting my act together. And that being said, brings me on to what I'm doing to change my routine. So, I'm somebody who likes structure. I like a plan, I like to follow something, and then I don't have to think about it too much, and I just do it, basically. If it's written down, there for me to follow, I will do it. The last few weeks, I have been watching a particular YouTuber who I have become obsessed with, and I just think she's brilliant and so do a lot of other people because she's got over a million subscribers on YouTube and over a million followers on Instagram. It is Sarah's day. Um, so yeah, I literally a few weeks ago discovered her on Instagram and I binged watched, I think one Sunday, I binge watched her YouTube videos and she's all about health, well-being, um, listening to your body, fueling it with whole foods and ex exercising the way that you enjoy to exercise and the way you get the best results you can basically um, and just living an active lifestyle not necessarily going to the gym for hours running for hours lifting heavy weights just doing what you enjoy and getting the best results you can from the sort of exercise and lifestyle you and en you enjoy is going to keep you active and healthy throughout your life and that it's a set and that is sustainable. After following her for the last few weeks, watching probably most, if not all of her videos, I can't have watched all of them, no I haven't, but a lot of her videos, I started looking into her ebook that she has. I mean, I think she's got two ebooks, but the very first ebook that she brought out, I think a couple of years ago. So I'm a bit behind the curve. You probably maybe already know about her and her ebook but um, if you're like me and are just discovering this or have never heard of her then I um, that's what this video is about basically so I this last weekend thinking I need to change what I'm doing otherwise I'm gonna come out of this isolation period looking like a roly-poly so I went on to her ebook she did a 50% sale this last weekend I don't think it's still on um, but it meant that her ebook was half price so I went on I purchased it and I have downloaded it onto my laptop and I downloaded it onto my phone so I have it here so that's basically what it looks like at the front and it's about 90 odd pages um, there's some stuff for you to read, like the intro, her story, what can you expect from her ebook, um, things to do before you get started. So on Monday, which was the 30th of March, I took before pictures, front, back, side, and um, then you do that at the four week stage, um, and then at the end of it as well. So it's an eight week program. And her first ebook, which is called Sweat It To Shred It, yeah, eight weeks, and it requires no equipment at all, which is why, again, I chose it because it's perfect to do from home. I don't have any equipment. I've got a skipping rope and a, a, a resistance band with me and that's it. So, and then obviously objects that you get around your home as well. So yeah, 
very minimal equipment and actually you don't need any for this. So, started it on Monday, ready to go, got my progress pictures done, read through the plan and the first workout was on Monday which was the sweaty shredder. Um, this is like an interval sort of um, like Tabata style circuit so it was seven different exercises, um, 30 seconds on, 10 seconds rest and you repeat that for each exercise six times. Um, when I looked at it, to be honest, um, I'll get it up in front of me now. When I looked at the exercises, because I'm not, um, you know, I'm not new to exercise and I do work out. I've just been very slack recently and obviously because there's been a lot of changes for all of us. Um, I looked at them and I thought, you know, I can do those. That doesn't look too difficult. So there was jump squats, side to side toe taps for your, um, for your abs or your obliques. Um, burpees, walking lunges, reverse lunge kicks, narrow squats and mountain climbers. So I thought, okay, I can do all those, you know, might not be too difficult, get me a little, work up a little bit of a sweat, um, get me moving, be fine. Um, I did it in the garden on Monday, oh my gosh. I haven't done a circuit style workout for quite a while and my poor little heart, <laughs> it was worked. I was out of breath. I was, my muscles were not sore, but you know, I could feel it in my muscles. I could feel it burning. And I worked up a real sweat. If you follow me on my Instagram, then you'll have seen, because I did a little video on there afterwards. But yeah, it was tough. I burnt nearly 400 calories doing it. It was about 35, 40 minutes long, um, just in the garden, no equipment, just your body weight. And yeah, I struggled, really struggled. I couldn't, like the jump squats, I had to start with jump squats and then bring it back down to normal squats. So I've got a lot of way to go. We're on Wednesday now and I am still aching from that workout on Monday. I really underestimated that first initial workout and it kicked my butt. So I'm really excited for the next one, which is today, which is the toning power. So it's more longer periods of exercise, so a minute at a time, longer periods of rest, but you superset. So a minute of one exercise, followed by straight away by another exercise, another minute, and then you get like 45 to a, seconds to a minute's rest. Um, and then you repeat that four times and do four different exercises exercise three different exercises so i just wanted to tell you about what i'm doing to try and bring myself out of a bit of a funk i was in last week um and alongside this plan that i'm following for the next eight weeks um i am also concentrating on like i mean there's not a, a food program that comes with her ebook but from watching her on instagram um watching her on youtube and following her on instagram um, I love the way that she, her approach to food as well. She doesn't count calories, she doesn't count macros, she doesn't track anything that she eats. She just listens to her body, if she's hungry she'll eat, and then when she does want to snack or is hungry, she will concentrate on eating whole foods. So she does eat um, chicken, fish, um, things like that, which I don't, and I'm not going to incorporate that into my diet, but um, I am going to incorporate um, the mentality that if I'm hungry, I'm going to, rather than reaching for packaged food or, you know, easy grab and go kind of stuff, I'm going to try and make my own food. And if I do want to snack and grab and go, then I can pick healthier options like fruit, nuts, seeds, um, things like that. So, so far it's gone really well. I haven't, I think when I get into the frame of mind that I want to do something, initially I'm really good and I haven't had the urge to snack on unhealthy things in the house at all because I've switched my frame of mind now from Monday. Um, and I know that that will slightly, things will start to creep back in as it goes on. We're still very early on in this. As the weeks go by, those thoughts will start to creep in and the biscuit cupboard will be calling out to me that I will have to resist and I will struggle. Um, and I'm sure it won't be seamless and perfect, but I'm gonna give this a go for the next 
next eight weeks. So I thought I'd come on and let you guys know what I'm doing and then I can update you if you go and follow me on my Instagram. I'll update you as I go along how I'm finding it. And also I'll do a video here at the end. I might do one maybe halfway as well to let you know, give you a bit of an update and let you know how I'm doing. So write in the comments below if you'd like an update at the four week mark. Um, and I will definitely do one at the eight weeks at the very end. Yeah eight weeks, I'm setting myself a goal that I'm gonna do this eight weeks, I'm gonna do it the best I can and see what results I get at the end. But so far, after my first couple of days of doing it, um, yeah, I really find that it's helping my mentality and my outlook going forward over the coming weeks, months, however long this is. I'll take you along with me on my workout. Um, I'm going to do it later, we're coming up to lunchtime now, it's about half 11, so I'm going to do my workout probably about 4 or 5 o'clock once I've done with all my work today, um, but I will film it, um, I might speed it up in parts because, you know, otherwise this video would be really long, you're watching me just do squats and hip thrusters and all that kind of stuff, so, but I'll, I'll, I'll insert a bit of a clip of me doing it and, um, I'll chat to you after I've done my workout. completed the toning power workout from Sarah's days sweat it to shred it week one another thing I wanted to um, talk to you about about the program from Sarah's day is um, the timer so you can use your own stopwatch on your phone or if you've got a watch that does it then that's great reminding me to stop my Fitbit <laughs> Um, but she also does a, a timer app which is specific to her program um, it's only one pound 99 if you're in the UK like me um, I don't know what the, the Australia equivalent is um, to that but it's brilliant so as you can see there I've got it up for the specific workout so it says toning power on the top and then it literally you don't have to think you just press play and as long as you know the exercises um, that you've got to do which you get from her program um, then it'll time you for so today it was a minute for the first exercise a minute for the second exercise so it's like a superset so you do them one after the other and then you get 45 seconds rest and it times it all for you so I literally set my phone down by the side of my mat like you saw and I just left it and her voice comes up and it says 30 seconds to go and then it counts you three two one next next exercise and then it says 45 seconds rest and then it's the start of exercise so it does it all for you which i think is really good because i find that if you use your own stopwatch you like you have to first of all like put your phone in a place that you can see it so that you can see when your time's up and then sometimes 45 seconds it doesn't go to the even minute so then you've got to work it out in your head when you've got to start the next and it's just too much to think about whilst you're trying to work out as well so that's really brilliant and i think it's definitely worth the one nine one pound 99 that i paid for it and as you can see there it gives you all the different workouts so um on monday i used the sweaty shredder just press that welcome to sweaty shredder and it starts for you so it's so simple and yeah definitely worth the money just a bit of a different video um i will if you're interested in watching my journey with this for the next eight weeks then comment below and i will post some more videos as i go but i will definitely do one at the very end to show you my results and see how i'm getting on but yeah um i hope this motivates some of you that may be in a bit of a funk with your diet and 
fitness and perhaps gives you a bit of motivation to get up off the sofa and do a little bit especially on days like this when the weather's nice and if you've got outside space whether it be a balcony or a communal garden or just your own garden then yeah highly recommend doing it because it's changed my mood this week so thank you very much for watching the video and um, if you liked it give it a thumbs up and like I said comment below if you'd like me to do more videos along the way perhaps different workouts and how I'm finding it and um, subscribe if you haven't already so yeah thanks very much and I'll see you in the next one bye